Hello, welcome back y'all. So, I got a new system up. It's the IO-1000. Now, why do I have an IO-1000? Well, let me tell you. Unfortunately, my EST fire shield has died. The board on it is no longer good. Something went seriously wrong with the power supply. It wasn't my fault. The power supply was bad to begin with. That's why there was the ground fault on the other panel. And yeah, so now I have this guy up. Now, as you can see, I have one trouble. It's just the battery trouble, as you can tell. I'll have batteries for it soon. But this is just the first test. So yeah, gotta start somewhere, eh? I brought this back from the older system, but this is gonna be replaced with a horn stripe soon. And next to it, I got a special little treat for y'all. This is a Edwards Signature Optica Detector, or SIGA OSD. This is a really fancy unit, y'all. This unit can apparently tell the difference between nuisance alarms and real alarms. It uses two different colors of light, and a forward and backward scattering angle. The two different types of lights are an IR light and a blue light. Right here, I have a Sega CT2, which is monitoring this 276-1130 and this Faraday rebranded RSG T-Bar. Above it, I have a Sega 278, Sega 270, and then I have this Sega 278. Let's begin the test. So first we're gonna put it into test. We're gonna put it into an audible test. And we're just gonna enter the password real quick. I know I could just use the arrow keys to scroll through it faster, but this is easier that way. We're gonna do all devices, and then we're gonna start. We're just gonna acknowledge that real quick. All right, let's begin. Let's see. There's my Cat45 key. We're gonna pull this guy. And now, next, we're going to test the SIGA 278. Just give me a second while I get my key. We're going to pull it. Now we got the Faraday T bar, get the Faraday key out. Not oh, wrong way, my fault. And now, let me get my screwdriver. I'm gonna test the 270. And then we're just gonna set it real quick. Handle's a little funky on this guy, but it didn't act up right now. Yeah, it usually acts up when I open it. Back, my keys, and then we're going to test the last pull station. Now, I won't test the smoke detector until we do the full alarm because there's no magnet test feature. Go ahead and notch the panel. 
We'll end the test. It'll take a little bit to reset. And we'll, while it's doing that, we'll go ahead and put the keys down and get the smoke check out. This is just some CRC brand smoke detector tester. I know smoke check is a different brand, but I just like I just call it smoke check because that's well that's just what I call it. All right, we're done resetting, but the monitor points haven't gone away, so we're just gonna wait till that happens. Oh, there it goes. And now let's spray some smoke in this little head right here. It takes quite a bit of smoke to trip this thing because this thing has that technology. We'll see if we can trip it quickly right here. Or we might need a little a little bit more. Nope. Oh, almost went. That's weird. Blinked red for a minute. Hmm, never seen it do that before. Come on, you can do it. You might need a little bit more smoke. These detectors are kind of hard to trip. Oh, here we go. It does that for some reason. It does code three, then it does its regular pulse tone. I don't know why it does that. Honestly, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna end up replacing this device anyway, because it's a chime and I want a horn in there. And I know y'all do too, so yeah. So we're gonna acknowledge, we're gonna signal silence, and that'll silence our audibles. I chose to leave strobe running. And then we're gonna I'm just gonna blow that out. Let's see if we can do a system reset. These panels also take a minute. They don't take as long as the simplex panels, but they do take a little bit of time, probably 30 seconds at the most. So we'll just wait for the reset to complete. And we'll see if the detector resets. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. So, there we have it. This is the first demonstration of my Edwards IO 1000. Stay tuned for more, but until then, well, until next time, I should say, thank you for watching, like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, see ya.